you got any um, tips for anyone just starting out into the engineering or production scene? Well, just to learn it properly, you know, and to learn. If you want to be a producer, you need to learn about songs. You need to definitely learn an instrument, you know? even if you can play it badly. Just, just, yeah. just a communication tool. You know, if you can play, like if you, if you can pick a guitar up and say, I think it needs to be like these, these notes, or to, to understand when they're talking about a key of a song, like what, what might be some harmonic sort of suggestions and things, will really help. And then if you get, you know, to learn engineering from from like a proper source, like so get a half decent microphone, a good cable, a good mic pre, and just do one thing at a time. Like try, and, I, I, I made a whole record on two channels once, and that was, oh, really? yeah, because we didn't have anything else. When we first set up this place, I had a stereo in. It was all really high quality, but I only had two ins. I was like the band, like we're in it together. It's gonna be amazing, live performances. Well, it's better to have a few things really good and lots of crap stuff. I think so, just build it up one thing at a time and, and, and learn that thing properly. And you know, you don't have to spend a fortune, you just have to have something that functions. If you have a half decent microphone uh, and you know, you need to, you need it to, to be able to capture something, it needs to be half decent. I mean, when I say half decent, it needs to be, you know, it, it could be a 57, but make sure yeah. it's a, a good 57 and not a 13 pound copy from some dodgy eBay site, you know. Yeah. It's just you can with a, a good dynamic mic and a half decent pre, you can pretty much record anything, you know. Um, what you do need to learn is how phase works and 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 how you know how gain structure works. And gain structure being that same thing that I said from microphone to mic pre, out of the mic pre, to, if you want to use a compressor, how that the gain structure of that works. And then when you hit your recorder, that's once you understand that knowledge, then you need to understand how two things relate to each other in phase and, and polarity and what those things are, because those things can really help uh, stay on top of things technically. And then once you've got those little things, the engineering should be really simple then. Like, to me, I think the perfect engineering is stuff when no one questions whether it sounds good or not. It should be seamless to the produ production. That's what, that's what I think. Good engineering is when you don't even think about recording. You're just like... Phew. It should be really easy. It should be just like, what's the part? What, what's what's happening with this song? With the part, you don't want to be like, why does the kick drum sound like ass? You know, it's it's the most yeah. frustrating thing. I mean, you can think those things, but you think them for a split second, and if you know your chain, you know why the kick drum sounds like ass. You know, because something's wrong, or something's out of phase, or something, you know, something's causing problems, or something's uh, one-legged, or you know, and, and you can learn all those things just from. Having a few a few things and spent just did loads of recording. So uh, that would be my yeah. starting point. Hi, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, remember to subscribe to our channel. Also, head over to electramusicacademy.com where you can find out about our free bootcamp series that won't cost you a penny. Just follow the links in the description below.